Alright there, um, over the next couple of weeks what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uploading a whole series of videos which you know is kind of the point of YouTube but all the same these videos are going to be promoting a short film uh, me and a couple of friends did over, um, over April uh, we did it for our class at university and today's video uh, consists of the making and application of pyrotechnics but I'll just let myself explain it to you in the, in the video so what we're going to do is we're going to try smoke bombs. You see, what we've tried is um, two parts sugar, three parts stump remover, uh, which has uh, some sort of chemical in it. You basically get it in here until we get a paste, drop it on here until it solidifies. Then we're going to take it outside and um, see what happens. Okay, so here we have what should be a smoke bomb. Uh, I'm going to be running camera and Justin's going to be doing the honours. Okay. Uh, not much to it, just a simple match and uh, a smoke bomb. Huh. Huh, indeed. Do you think we need a stronger flame? Probably. Stronger flame. Where are we going to get a stronger flame? Get a blowtorch. Set a piece of tissue on fire. We could. Okay, so what we've done is we've added now a piece of tissue paper, uh, which hopefully will catch fire, cause a stronger flame, and uh, give us the result we're looking for. Here we go. Okay, much more like it. I think we're going to need bigger quantities. Okay, so we're trying again. Uh, this is three parts potassium nitrate and two parts sugar. Yeah, you can just use tablespoons for that. And uh, just throw it all in. Somewhere like a mid-range temperature sort of deal. Maybe about six or something on your, on your stove. Uh, then, just keep messing it around. Until we look fire. And we're going to try double the portions this time. Uh, try and see if we can get a bigger pill. Uh, as well as disguise the, the orange flare. Well, that's <coughs> time to pick is done. We're adding this to our already made one from before. We're kind of going for double the quantity here. All right, this is attempt number two at the smoke bomb. Yep, with and a triple quantity and a larger flame. Yes. Got sort of a starter once again for the flame because matches just wasn't working out for us like a lighter would. So, this stuff, even though it looks scary, it's completely stable according to the people that Go to us. Wow. That's much better. That is definitely better. I've got about as tall as the house, so that's about two stories. Uh, and that's with, what, maybe about a gram, maybe? We should weigh this something. We should. And figure out a formula. But either way, that wasn't much. Uh, that was. What? That's about a half portion, right? Really. Yeah. I thought we could do. Now, some of the uh, documents we've read on doing this, apparently a pound of this stuff can do an entire city block. Uh, whether that's true or not, we don't know. And we don't really plan on trying. Yet. Number three, and we have a mother load of this crap. Yep, and uh, we've also added some green food colouring. It's probably going to do nothing, but... Uh, we wanted to see if it'll work. Yeah. Yeah. So Why not green smoke? That'd be fun. <laughs> oh, look at that. That is Look at all that smoke, man. He's very happy right oh, now. I'm so happy. <laughs> I really want to do more of this. How big do you think we can make that? Huh? How big do you think we can make it? I don't know. I should really we, want to find out. Should we use a pound? <laughs> should we fill the whole pan? Oh, man. I mean, we did last time, but... We can add more. Like more and more. Should we go to Walmart and buy some more? 
How are we going to fit all that in one? Oh, we could just keep making it. Oh, we could just keep making batches and put it on top of oh. one another. Oh, shit. Have a whole pile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do it. You know, I do have to admit myself, for the most part, everything went very well. Um, we discovered a couple things along the way. However, not everything went particularly well. Um, in fact, let me show you. Okay, and um, this is what happens when when it gets too hot. It, it ignites. <coughs> Inside. That's right, it exploded. Um, I got too excited and tried cooking it too fast. And you know what's happened to smoke bombs when you heat them? They blow up. Funny that. Uh, so even if you're still cooking them, they will ignite. So please bear that in mind and do not make mistake. Do not make our mistake, uh, which was uh, cooking cooking it too fast. Interesting turn of events, no? Uh, you can blame this lady, really. She's the woman that made us do it. She's the devil. Yep, so uh, this be a lesson to all of you. <laughs> Don't cook it too hot or it explodes in your face. <laughs> your spin will go on fire as well as your clothes and you will panic. And you'll burn the floor, which we've already cleaned up, but you'll burn the floor. Don't do it. <laughs> so, um, live and learn. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But anyway, before you go, uh, here is our really, really big um, smoke bomb. This is triple the ingredients, right? Yeah, this is triple the normal amount. Okay, well, we'll see how it works. We actually added a fuse this time, so... Yes. We'll a little bit more technical. I like that. That's very helpful. We need to do this in the daytime. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we definitely do. That was good, though. Uh, that was... Because of the fuse, it... You know, made it gradually come out, which is helpful. Because mm -hmm. then we know that it will work that way instead of exploding all at once. Unless we put multiple fuses. Mm. For anyone else interested in making smoke bombs, remember that the ingredients are two parts sugar and three parts potassium nitrate, which can be found in stump remover. Now, do remember when you are cooking this in your pan, do not make the same mistake as us and get overexcited and try cooking it too fast because it will ignite. I quite literally burnt my top lip uh, that night. It was bad. But still, it's it's dead fun. Um, now be careful with it and don't make the same mistakes we did. So a big warning to you all. Um, in fact, might even put an age warranty on this. Sort of 12 and under, get someone else to do it. Um, please, because, you know, we want you to stay around and watch a couple more videos, you know, and stay alive, but mostly watch, watch the videos. But anyway, overall, it's relatively safe and it is a pr pretty stable substance unless you do abuse it and um, just have fun with it. Next video coming up, we'll be dealing with um, props and what we did to acquire them and how we altered them to uh, make them movie worth, worthy, worthy-esque, usable. Uh, so props, so keep in, uh, keep in tune, keep up to date, keep logged on, uh, just, just check back soon for, for one about um, the use of props.